Bird Box. Uh, interesting title. Isn't this something like the largest viewed Netflix movie of all time? I have so no far? idea, but it was trending on Twitter for like a long time. Yeah, this is the either. only Netflix movie I've ever heard or like in my feed seen everybody talking about. I feel like I'd argue this is probably the best original movie that they've put out. I don't know. The package was pretty good. Oh, fuck, yeah. <laughs> That's right. But I mean, in terms of, like, I feel like this is... I understand. Yeah. I, that's just me being a dick because I haven't seen Bird no, Box. No, yeah. But I feel like this is something where it's like, oh, shit, like, maybe we should... It just seems like something where it's like people might pay attention. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, no one's going to pay attention to the package, really. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Do you guys... Sorry. We should watch that trailer. Cheesy in the chat just said, I know you guys are done with the trailers, but did you see... Did you guys see the Us trailer? No. We should watch that. Okay. You know what it is, right? No. Jordan Peele's next movie. Oh, it is? On Christmas Day. We'll, we'll watch because I know we'll watch it. how okay. much you like it out. We should definitely watch that. Um, I don't think we should do... Well, I personally don't think we should talk spoilers. No spoilers for this movie. For this movie yeah. so, but you go ahead, Rick. All right. Um, oh, Cheesy's seen it. Cool. Oh, great. Uh, so, well, Cheesy, Bird Box... Why don't you bring your fucking happy ass over here and sit in this chair and I'll go sit on the couch. <laughs> we'll wait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right outside. No, I'm just <laughs> Um... So yeah, uh, my I talked to my sister about this. I have mentioned it before because she read the book. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna bust the my, right now. Okay. And my sister, <laughs> you know what's funny? I was gonna set up the other camera to face the couch just in case. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, my sister. Yeah, I, like, today. I'm glad you didn't. Uh, I talked to my sister because she saw it and I was curious to see what she thought and she didn't like it. Really? Yeah, she's like. She said what she did like was that the ending translated well than, than the book explained it. Oh, okay. Um, but uh, as far as for me watching it without reading the book and not really knowing much, like I actually enjoyed it. Um, I didn't think it was bad. I, I enjoyed it, but I also didn't think it was great or like amazing. Um, I just thought it was a nice, great like psychological, you know, Mess with your head, kind of mind fuck of a movie. That's what interests for the characters, really not really for yourself, but for yeah. the characters. Well, here's what I'll say, and I, I kind of blame your sister for this, you know. But like, I went in, and I see the similarities, but I don't. But I went in watching this movie because your sister, when you and I came back and raved about a quiet place, she's like, "Oh, it seems like it's just a rip off of Bird Box or whatever." Um, you and said Bird Box came out first. Right, yeah, yeah. right. The book, but she's like, oh, it just seems like that, and blah blah blah, and that's that's better, and whatever. So I went in, kind of like, okay, let me see how this is better. And in my opinion, I don't think it's better than a quiet place, but I also oh, don't, I don't think, think that's so, fair. Yeah. I wish I didn't hear that. Right. I wish that wasn't put in my brain, so I wasn't sitting there thinking that this whole time. That said, though, I do think the movie was really good. Like, I don't know if that means I liked it better than you. Like, I don't know that I. I think we probably have the same opinion. And maybe Rick, just the way he's saying it, makes it sound it was more underwhelming. But for me, I was kind of like vintage Rick. I kind of went, I kind, I kind of went in with uh, zero expectations, uh -huh. and I found myself being really captivated very quickly. I'm like, oh, okay, like this is, this is really inter This is really interesting. I wonder where this is gonna go. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But then when I left it, when the movie was over, I'm just like, I thought that was I thought that was really enjoyable. I mean, I, like, and I think I probably That's did. Fun. I probably did leave it thinking like that's probably the best movie Netflix has put out, original movie, and I I think so. I would agree with that too. Yeah, and yeah. I, I, I think I've seen more Netflix movies than you guys have because I watch Bright and some of the other ones. I still haven't seen. I still haven't seen. Bright. I really um, want to see that movie too. I think yeah. Bright gets a bad rap. I think that's another thing. I, I think that's that, a, I heard that too. That's another thing where I just feel like you're gonna sit down and watch that and be like, huh? you be like. Man, like this is cool. Like it, it, it's like I said, Netflix. We've talked about this before. All this stuff. It's like you spend more time finding something to watch than you do actually watching something. That it's so fucking nice when you're like, oh, cool. There's this Netflix original movie that's got Will Smith in it, or this has Sandra Bullock and uh, Sarah Paulson in it. Like that's kind of cool. Like and it's Jonathan it's Mitch. brand it's brand fucking new. Like oh, I'm, I'm gonna, yeah. really. I, how did I miss that in the trailer? Fucking amazing. Before. Yeah, and so I love this character. Okay, <laughs> such a dick. Oh, fuck him. Um, but I'm like, it, it kind of feels like a gift. You know what I mean? It's like it's 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 like a nice Icing on shiny the new toy. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, oh wow, like I've got this fresh thing to watch and I don't have to leave my house. You know what I mean? Like and it's it's brand new, it's original. Yeah. It's the same way that I feel when there's a Netflix series that I'm excited about and I'm like, oh fuck, I got ten one hour episodes ahead of me. You know, like it's just a good feeling. So like I, I 
that's how I felt with this movie. It was, it was a nice little treat, you know, and I kind of went in with no expectation. I'm assuming Rick probably went in with zero expectations too, really? other than his sister probably, you know, put stuff Just in Just that it's a book and that she yeah. didn't like it. I'm like, all right, well, maybe yeah. I'll like it. She even said, I think you'll like it. That's what you get for talking to your sister. I know. Um, <laughs> I feel like I would have maybe even liked it more if I didn't have Quiet Place comparison put in my head. Because I could see it, but at the same time, I don't think I, it's the same at all. I like, don't think it's the same at all, and I think I could do a pretty fair assessment of keeping those separate. Yeah. Because, I mean, one's no noise, and the other one is don't open your fucking eyes or you'll die. Yeah. I can yeah. I can get how you draw the, the compare. I can but understand I can, how you I, draw the comparison, comparison for sure. I, I can... I, I, I could safely say that I can separate the two as well, and uh, like I said, I, I liked, I enjoyed Bird Box. I thought it was it's a fun ride. I think uh, it's a fun ride. Um, I like the way the the story is told with the time jumps. Not really. Spoilers. I thought it was really good. Right. Um, that was interesting because like I love that kind of storytelling in a way because like you want to know what's gonna happen or how they got to that point, so they jump back and forth between time. Um, uh, so yeah, I uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. Yeah. I thought the uh, um, like I said, I thought John Malkovich oh, was amazing. I thought you were gonna go into like a oh, no, 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 we're not gonna, no, 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 no. I was gonna start talking about the, the, the characters. Like, John Malkovich was a dick, um, but spoilers. he was he was <laughs> not really spoilers, doesn't he usually play a dick? No, I thought he usually does, anyways. He's eccentric, yes, there you go, eccentric. Um, he did a really good job. Sandra Bullock, as much as I'm like either or with her, she, I thought she did a great job. That she is good too. Yeah, yeah. like, well, it's never. I, I'm assuming this is the same thing with you. Like, it's not a knock on her acting. No, skills. no, no, no. I just don't. I've just never been like, oh, Sandra Bullock. You know what I mean? But she was good. There was a part in, in when they were on the river and they're trying to guide through the river. It's like, oh no, oh no! Like, it almost sounded like her when. Well, I mean, it was her in Speed where she was. Uh, yelling like no 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 when they're about to like do something like oh that's it's like just reminding me of speed remember when hollywood tried to make her america's sweetheart <laughs> but uh Definitely. yeah sarah paulson the small role that you had was great she, uh, she's fucking great. well you said it i wish you didn't say that but i was gonna say like i wish you didn't say small role but i, I was a little sad that she wasn't in it more okay but i didn't want to say too much about that but yeah, it's fine it's, it's already fine. been said oh well, I mean, the trailer kind of shows it too. The trailer does not show that. <laughs> well, not show that in particular. I don't. Th- I didn't. I didn't get anything implied in the trailer that made it seem like she wouldn't be in the movie very long. Oh. Okay. So I don't agree with that. Also, she's pretty expensive, and I'm sure like she had to. Uh... Sandra, Bullock. Sandra Bullock is fucking, is are, 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 maybe not. I don't know. Okay, I, maybe Sandra it's... Bullock is absolutely a bigger star than Sarah Paulson. Sa- like, Sarah Paulson might be the hotter actress right now, but there is yeah. no way you could tell me that Sandra Bullock is a lesser star than Sarah Paulson. Nailed That's true. So, but I like uh, like uh, Sarah Paulson. Yeah, more. and I think that's got nothing to do. Yeah, I do too. I absolutely do too. I think that's got nothing to do with it. I just think, I mean, you, it kind of there it is right there. They could have gotten anybody to play her role, but instead they fucking spent money to get Sarah Paulson to play her role. So, and and it was good. Um, but I think the movie's a fun ride. Cheesy in the chat, uh, for those that aren't uh, watching or listening or aren't with us live, said, uh, not spoiler, kind of a spoiler, but I thought the ending was meh. And to that, I don't know if that's how I describe it, but I, I did feel maybe like when the movie came to its end, maybe a tiny bit underwhelmed because you're on this ride, you're on this journey, and then it comes to its conclusion and it's a worthy conclusion, but I kind of felt like I was left wanting a little bit more, which in some cases can be a good thing. Uh-huh. I don't know if you kind of felt that I way. I felt that way too. Yeah. Like the ending just kind of came and I'm like, all right, well that, you know, that was that. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a fun, it's, it's a fun movie to watch. It's worth the watch if you have the time. Yeah. It's definitely a fun movie, movie to watch. Right. So mm-hmm. I, I, yeah, I, I, I think, it, I think it was good. I think a lot of the characters are very likable. Um, I don't remember. I think the trailer did a really good job of not really like I had no idea they were going to tell the story the way that they did, and all these other side characters. Yeah, that I didn't we know met. they were going to tell the story that way. I, uh, I like that a lot. Yeah, so I thought it. Was, I thought it was cool. There, there's some stuff that I'm just kind of like, you know, of course, with any form of entertainment, you have to suspend your imagination a bit, you know. And I'm just kind of like, 
All right, you got a fucking blindfold on. Like, you could barely see if you could see at all. Because, like, they sometimes showed from, like, their perspective where it's, like, you can kind of sort of see through the blindfold, like, a little bit, but not make anything out. And there's just some cases where just, like, how the fuck do you... Like, how are you going so far and for so long and not running <laughs> in, into stuff, right. you know? Like, they... They have moments where they make up for that, but there's sometimes I'm just kind of like, come on now. Like, it would be way more difficult than you guys are making it come across. But it's a movie. I mean, I don't know if you feel that way. Same thing. Yeah. Same. If you feel the same way, but yeah. Hey, man. Jake the Snake Roberts and Rick Martell wrestled a whole match blindfolded, Bryce. I know. So that okay. is, there you go. As explained. That was the inspiration for this movie. Done and done. <laughs> yeah. WrestleMania 7 was the inspiration. That's so that, yeah, that's it. Yeah. I, it's, it's worth, I think it's worth your time. Alright. You have a Netflix account. You're looking for something to watch. There's no reason not to watch it. Cheesy is insisting that I tell you, Mike, that you, watch a blindfold. you should watch it blindfolded. <laughs> <laughs> and he's telling us to watch the movie blindfolded. Cheesy also thought the movie was excellent. Cool. So, yeah.